Welcome back, everybody, to RimWorld. Yesterday, I lowered the difficulty below Merciless for the first time in four series because this is broken as fuck. Thank you to the other people who've also confirmed that to me as well. I need to give a shout out to those guys first. Uh, a couple of people have also said that the difficulty is completely screwed, even on the difficulty we're playing on. So we'll see how we do. Um, all of them have said that it's down to more or less the Orion faction. So now that they have been moved away, now I've set them to neutral. We shouldn't have any issues with them because we're not close to their borders. We're not going to get that negative. Everyone else should work fine. We know the Empire works fine. We know some of these other factions work fine because we played with them previously. But it's the Orion installation in particular that likes to ruin things. Thank you as well for the advice in the comment section yesterday about the meditation stuff. Because obviously with none of the... Uh, I, I have no experience with any of the new features about meditation or whatever. Uh, besides just watching the video that they uploaded. Um, and even though I don't remember much out of that, to be honest with you. But the it turns out with meditation, we need to actually add some hours manually to their schedule. Now... I don't know if there's a way to plant one of these trees down here, but honestly, that'd be a hell of a lot nicer than having this thing. And I assume they take up the same radius too. Now, we can harvest it. I don't know what that would do, but I guess we'll give it a go. I don't know if we're allowed to do that. Uh. Oh. Oh. You know when it says harvest something, and you assume, oh, we're going to take some fruit from it or something. Not, we're going to fucking kill it dead. Oh, really? Why would it say harvest rather than chop wood? It was a tree. Oh, I want a refund on that one. That's fucking stupid. From the looks of it, we might be able to unlock it again anyway with tree sowing. Oh, but we already have that, don't we? Anima. If I type an anima tree, it points us at tree sowing. But we already have tree sowing. But I can't plant an anima tree by the looks of it. Um, Let me just double check. I might have just missed it there. Uh, Let's take a look through. Anima tree, anima tree. No, there's definitely no anima tree there. Oh, that's so stupid that instead of it saying chop wood, it would say... Because all we got from it was wood anyway. Like, normally, I would say, for example, the apple tree in RimWorld, when you hit harvest, you would just get apples from it rather than chopping the fucking thing down. I thought there might be some cool psychic fruit. Never mind. I guess there's psychic nothing anymore. And, of course, in traditional RimWorld fashion, there is a mod for that. So I have gone ahead and uh, added something that, in theory, should allow us to grow some animatories if I can actually find a fucking growing zone here. There we are. So it's FSF Meditation Freedom. We've used some of the FSF mods previously. Uh, this mod adds a lot of uh, additional balancing, shall we say, to the meditation stuff that I'm not a big fan of. Um, it, it seems like it might make it maybe a little bit too easy. But it's also the only mod, obviously, right now, seeing as it's been a couple of days since this has come out, it's the only mod right now that actually allows us to regrow the anima trees. I figured we could replace it with this, but I'm a little bit concerned that... Oh, it does have a center point, though. Um, I was going to say, I was a little bit concerned that... that it would not fit our current layout, right? It wouldn't fit our current circle. But it looks as if that has a center block there. Let me just quickly plan this out and double, triple check. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that right there is a center block. That's 33 blocks uh, from... Uh, it's 33 block radius from that center block. So that's, that's perfect. Okay, cool. So we'll go ahead and I think we'll probably remove this shrine. And we'll replace that center with a one by one growing zone. A single square growing zone. Uh, what happened to the dude, by the way, that was here that we rescued from the Empire that then got annihilated by bugs? I guess he's probably dead as dicks at this stage. Huh? We might as well tear all this down. We might as well rip all this apart and, and, and rebuild a little bit. So there was some pretty good advice in the comment section about how to deal with a no-kill box merciless playthrough. Particularly when we're playing with a mod pack like this, it might actually be somewhat relevant. Um, so they basically said something along the lines of, with a, with a no-kill box run, we want a lot of corridors and a, a lot of streets. Like tightly packed outdoor streets to be able to run between. I guess it would be somewhat similar to the Zombie City playthrough we did. Things like that would allow us to much more easily defend ourselves from 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 big raids like that because we'd be able to lure all the enemies, split them up a little bit. That will work out a lot better. So I think we will try and do something like that. Like oh, I was obviously starting with a corridor system here, um, but unfortunately needs to get muscle right now. We need to get these rooms down. But I will go back to a corridor style afterwards, and then that way if we do get raided when they break into a building, they have to run through all these corridors to actually get to our people. You want a growing zone? I think it was right there. I will double check this one again very very quickly, but that should. Is there anything special about that? Um, fertility requirement two percent. Fertility sensitivity zero percent. Wow. Um, takes 25 days to grow. Fair enough. The temperature is, is fairly, uh, it's actually fairly generous. And the meditation focus strength, I have no idea what any of that means. 30% per day is that, that you gain in meditation focus. I, I really don't know what that 
correlates to because of course we haven't had any experience with it quite yet. Okay, well, I guess we'll put that in the middle of our bamboo fields then. More caravan animals? Hang on. Rabbit ear Hannah. Abandoned or lost? Hello. As a caravan animal? Oh, it, it won't even let me jump to it. Uh, maybe it's just on the map somewhere then. Hang on a minute. Uh, there it is. Oh, weird. And you've, you've got caravan crap, right? It's got 4,000 hay. We've got to try and tame that. I, I mean, A, it's another one of these horrendous anime. Oh, God. In short, she is a sundere. She is the daughter of a very wealthy merchant. It seems when a trader comes there trading, it will bless you with silver on a regular basis. Oh, cool. So, actually, someone pointed this out on the other animal, and I've never been more disappointed to hear anything in my life. The one that I... Oh. Oh, my God, I kept them locked indoors. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we've only just defeated the insect, so that's probably um, as, as probably reasonable, I guess. Um, but someone pointed out this one here, the one that says it drops milk, unfortunately, and I've never been more disappointed with the one in my life, unfortunately it doesn't actually drop milk, it drops gold, which is definitely not much of a consolation prize. But, hey, I mean, it is it is free gold. Oh, they got it already, 68% chance, look at that. Wow. Oh, and look, that's how it shows they've got they've got gear. They get like a little, uh, get a little bindle, very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and empty that out, I mean... 4,000 hay is going to last us a very, very, very long time. Holy shit. Um, and how long does that decay in? Two years. Oh, because it can't refrigerate it because it's outdoors and we're currently in winter. Okay, fair enough. Um, so we did unlock electricity yesterday, didn't we? I want to... I, I think hygiene is the more important thing to work on right now. Making sure that we have fresh food and water should... Should take priority. I think I'll use a little bit of... I know this room is going to be the kitchen, but we could always put some... Oh, there's actually water to pump here as well. It's not fantastic, though. Uh, let's move that down to the bottom instead. Yeah, it's really not great. We could pump in this room, I guess. Fuck it, we'll pump it there instead. Right, so we've got wooden water tower. Now, unfortunately, right now, we only have the, the, the wind pumps, but they'll do for the time being, and then uh, eventually we'll flip over to... Eventually, we'll flip over to an electric pump so we don't have to keep maintaining this bloody area in front of this wind turbine. I guess we'll just grow something in front of it for the time being. Um, was that big enough? Oh, no. One more block. Oh, come on. Of all the things to botch, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's like the worst thing you could have done. 25 still gone immediately. Good work. Right, let's also get the... Uh, let's make sure we get some pipes down here. So building up here is a little bit of a shit because, of course, it means we have to plumb it into every bedroom. But we can go down this way and then we can also hook it up to the kitchen preemptively. Bear in mind, this is going to be our kitchen zone. So if we go down like that, that's two bathrooms to out with. And then if we go straight down through there, it's not exactly the best route, I will admit, but that'll do it. Okay, come on this time. Boom. And I think that means we've got a... Yeah, there we go. 40 liters, 50 liters, 60 liters. Very good. Let's get the last of that one done as well, if you don't mind. We can start working on dedicated bathrooms for everyone. So let's go ahead and kind of plan out something relatively basic. We'll give them a bathtub. I think that's uh, I think that's fairly important here. And then a basin. And then a toilet as well. Uh, we'll put the basin there. And then we'll put a toilet, toilet, toilet. No toilets. Oh. Toilets don't count as... So, hang on. Surely a... Oh, well, I guess sewage is probably the, the other thing you have to take into account. I was about to say a bathtub is probably a little more... Uh, a little more complex, but bath if you don't have to worry about the, the sewage from it, at least in Rimworld. Okay, um, I guess we'll put in a latrine. You can plumb those in as well, from what I recall. I still want to follow the idea of building a massive square wall around the edge, and then, of course, the donut base in the center. So what I'm thinking is we put down a quarry, but just for the purposes of... Oh, right, we might not actually have anywhere to put one down in hindsight. Put down a quarry, but just for the purposes of getting stone so one of the options i don't think we ever really used it very much in previous series where we've had this mod enabled one of the options is to just quarry stone from it and by, by which i mean quite literally just cut stone blocks so we might stick one of these down and just have them working on that in the spare time if they've got nothing else to do actually here's a pretty good area for it look at that we wouldn't have to even dig through too many mountains to set that up cool um 100 steel damn did we not already put down a quarry am i going insane so i'm going insane um 100 steel. Well, that won't be too difficult in hindsight. There's loads of it kicking around here. Given that we've got a boatload of bamboo, I figured the other thing we can do is mark out the entire outside of the central area here where we're going to be doing the meditation stuff with a massive bamboo wall. That way, if worse comes to worse and we get a lot of enemies done, we can retreat inside this wall. Sure, it's made of bamboo. Sure, they'll burn it down, but that's exactly why I want the outside perimeter walls to be built with... 
uh, to be able with stone or steel if we if we ever get enough of that. That would be a, a little bit more preferable, so they can't just turn up and burn the whole thing down. And this is just meant as kind of de of, of a deterrent, not as like a like a proper defense line. That's gonna take uh, a decent amount of time, but I think, like I said, we've got enough bamboo to actually pull it off. Now it turns out I might have gone a little bit a little bit overboard on the bamboo, but it's always good to have a decent a decent standard building material just to kind of fill the area out, especially if things end up burning down. Which, to be honest, give me the, the entire goddamn base down to the. Oh, I should have built bamboo bathtubs. Damn it. Oh, don't tell me you can actually do that. Oh, you can. Fuck. Do they give a beauty bonus, though? Oh, they give. They do. 11 beauty versus what is a wooden bathtub? Uh, 10. All right. In hindsight, I don't feel so bad about that. I think we'll leave it how it is. We can actually put down a bookshelf here to help brains with his research. We'll also stick down a bamboo filing cabinet, too. Will that reach? Uh, it will. Look at that. This guy's got, like, a proper, a, a real textile bedroom right now. Um, I think it's that way around, isn't it? It's genuinely taken them almost three days, but they finally emptied this stockpile so we can remove all of these buildings. I'll move the... Oh, we're in by temperature, really? Fucking hell. These things are pointless until we get, uh, ways to regulate, like actual electric coolers. Uh, something, something slightly better than the passive stuff. Both the... But, by the way, those were killed by freezing temperatures this time, which we really can't do nothing about right now, because there's no point having, obviously, campfires and passive coolers in the same room. We might as well give up on these for the time being. It's not exactly like we're struggling for crops either, is it? Look at this. How much we got right now? Um, food itself is actually the thing we, we're somewhat struggling with. We've got 2,000 psychoid leaves. Okay. Um, we could, uh, we could just maybe maybe not harvest that one anymore. No, 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 allow, allow harvest, but no sewing. No, no, no more sewing of that one. Oh, there we go. So I might build the actual main structure of the base out of uh, bricks rather than bamboo when it gets around to it. Just use that for furniture. Bear in mind, that'll already give a significant beauty bonus. Sure, I mean, per room, we're going to miss out on a fair amount by removing the, the, the bamboo walls. Actually, it will be quite significant. Why did we layer the whole out external wall then with stone instead? So build build this all up with with another layer, maybe even the circle too. We could build that with another layer of of stone around it, just to defend it against fires. What we might also want to do is be super diligent just to even protect against mortars. Every few blocks, we'll place one of those with a stone brick as well. That way, if fire does break out, it won't spread any further. Kin League of Choco. That looks a bit more manageable at this point in the game. Okay, that I can deal with. In fact, that that one might be a little bit too easy. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. In hindsight, do we have? Anyway, for some of our people to get out still, we do. That's quite lucky. All right, well, we'll I guess we'll hold the line around here then. Where the hell are they going? Oh, my God. They're not going to just burn down. Digging up bamboo walls. Nah. Let's get around here and we can take them out at, uh, take them out of range over here instead. Oh, they're already in the fucking base. You little shit. Get out of there. Hey, you leave that alone. That's not your bedroom. I can't believe that. Yeah, this is a prime example why we could do with some slightly stronger walls. Oh, they're just going to go in and trash the place. It's not going to take long to rebuild that, to be fair. A little bit annoying, but nothing to... Not like last time where there were lives at stake. Okay, there you go. You guys stand there and get shot at. That's fine, mummy. Oh, fantastic. Great, great work. They stabbed the boom rat. You absolute fools. Well, now the base is in trouble. They're all on fire, for fuck's sake. <laughs> These are the most incompetent raiders I've ever seen. And luckily, the fire's not spreading, though. That's something. Good God, that could have sucked. Um, that guy's actually going to bleed out, I think. Get the fuck out of our base. Come on, get out. No, oh, he's fighting my anime girls. Not my anime girls. Please, 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 please. I've got such a collection. You can't ruin it. Kill him dead. Assassination request. It better not be for anime girls. Fleeing. There are no prisoners. There are no prisoners when you when you, when you you harm my my collection. I've got to be very careful with my words here. I don't, I don't know if YouTube's happy with me. For, for, you know what? So don't even broach the subject. Just kill him dead. Where the fuck did he come from? Oh, it was another one? Oh my god, there were there multiple groups. Oh, bollocks, I didn't even notice. You fool. Uh, okay. You guys come back. Let's deal with these guys over here first. Let's take a, take a position in these corridors. Open corridors have actually worked out really well. I mean, that, that has actually worked out quite well enough if you stay away from my little shit. Die. We might want to take a couple of prisoners as well, don't forget. So I'm not going not gonna to specifically go out of my way to, to stomp them dead. Although I, I do feel like it might be a little bit necessary at this point. A little bit of vengeance, huh? Get out of here. We good? Nice. Okay. Um, quite annoying. How are, they, how are they doing? Are any of them anything worth... You're not bad. I don't know if any are worth recruiting, though. That's, that's not really worth it. I did say I'd try and recruit everybody, so I guess I will stick to that. The only issue is we don't have a prison right now. We don't have food enough for our own people. Low pain tolerance, master diplomat. What does that do? Social plus four. Social impact plus 40%. 
Ooh, I should check if any of them are immortals as well. Last thing we want is to... Heart Irregulator. Oh. Um, the last thing we want is to obviously take them outside and bury the money for, for them to get back up. There's one. Thought we better double check. Um, he's yours. Fingers, he's all yours, my friend. I won't recruit everybody quite yet, because again, we're not in a position where we can actively do that. But we will later on, uh, when we've got a decent sized prison, when we've got a decent amount of crops coming in. We, which we'll, of course, will from this massive farming circle we're going to have. At that point, we'll, um... We'll try and get everybody. So hopefully I can give a name to everybody who wants them this time around. Oh, that's cool as well. Oh, that is really cool. You can see what the enemy has just at a glance. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, okay, and this guy had some pretty good traits. Tortured artist, transhumanist. I mean, the, the tortured artist is a pretty good trait, but with two, two artistic, maybe not so much, huh? Oh, my God. I really hope that lightning is just cosmetic. It doesn't actually hurt our... Hurt our base at all. Bandage up our poor anime princesses. Unbelievable. I didn't even know if they are princesses in hindsight. I've, I've really no idea what any of these things are or supposed to be. That's all right. We'll just we'll just call them whatever the hell we want to. They're, they're definitely not definitely not just reskinned for world animals. Oh no. <laughs> not an infection in its left second toe. Um. Should we just hack it off rather than waste the medicine on it? I think that's probably not a terrible idea. Practice surgery. War Crimes Expanded 2 allows us to practice surgery on... You know what? Once we've completed the collection, ready for our definitely not anime zoo that I'm planning on, we'll... Any, any others that turn up, we'll use them for vivisections. Am I allowed to say... <laughs> Quiet stone cutting research. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. So before we can actually quarry... Man, I didn't realize Tribal didn't even start with stone cutting. Damn. Okay. Um, move on to that. That apparently unlocks a whole bunch of crap. Boundary stone? Uh... Stonecutter's table. We've got some other crap there. What is that one? Electric Stonecutter's table. So we're almost finished with batteries. After that stage, we can start setting up a few wind turbines across our uh, across our fields. We might as well take advantage of the area while we've got it. Oh, shit. All the resources are already delivered. Besides the occasional botch, this shouldn't take him any time at all to... Ah, he's on refueling. Bollocks. Um, I'm going to disable refueling for everybody besides... Fingers. Because Fingers doesn't really have a specialized job right now. Oh, another immortal? Enemy... Oh, shit. There was another one I completely missed. Lesser Immortal still. Right, right, okay, hack the head off. Uh, orders and behead. I was going to say it was a bit weird that there was another one there. Why can't you move, though? Is it just because you've resurrected? Okay, get out there, beheader, before she stands up. And now he is up to a regular Immortal. Wow, I didn't realize that they also lost a little bit of pain there. Whoa, does he not need to eat now that he's an Immortal? His food's at zero, and he's, like, flicking between malnutrition, but it's not actually doing anything. Is there no food for anybody? Hang on, hang on. No food, malnutrition, trivial. Oh, bollocks, are we completely out of food? Maybe if I weren't growing... It's just occurred to me, out of all the resources we've got planted right now, what have we got? We've got a shitload of hero, a shitload of bamboo, a shitload of cotton, and nothing to eat, you fool. Okay, well, let's go ahead and swap over to here, then, for the timing. And we'll say, uh, harvest any... Any plants. There. That should do it. Oh, no! Or not. Shit, that couldn't have come at a worse time. Uh, okay, we might need to go out hunting, then. Otherwise, we're all gonna starve to death in no time. Shit, really? A cold snap now? Oh, brilliant. Well, at least we harvested some of it when we did. Oh, God, look at all those crops dying. That's tragic. Is the tree gonna die? Uh, hang on. No, apparently not. It's just resting. It's obviously not gonna grow at all. And how much has it grown? 18%. Wow, that's gonna take a long, long time. So this center area is all then completely shielded in. Let's go ahead and kill these mummuffalos. Um, mainly because they're just going to stand around and eat what little crops we've got left. So let's take these fucking things down. God, they've got a lot of strength. Wow. I mean, and our weapons are garbage. I should really point that that's probably probably more likely to be the thing that's causing us to take ages killing these fucking things. Oh, shit. Okay, pull back, pull back, pull back. Uh, okay, we're good. We are going to be on basically just pemmican or whatever meals end up coming out of this kitchen for the time being. I don't think it's going to be very much, particularly when all these external trees are going to die as well. Yeah, gone. Wait, berry bushes you can still harvest even though they've been affected by cold. Why? Oh, shit. Uh, are we good? <laughs> I think I think we're fine, but just about. Were these the lightning bolts from the uh, from the immortality event, do you think? If that's true, we need to be very, very careful having a base built entirely out of friggin' bamboo right now. Stone cutting's done. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, well, we can solve that problem pretty quickly then. Chisel blocks. Uh, quarry is going to be the catch-all job from now on, so hauling clean is never going to get done. I should probably up cleaning. 
Uh, hauling doesn't matter so much, because I think every animal we've got, I've trained in hauling already. Uh, besides this one, so we might as well flop that one over as well, although we haven't got any bloody food. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm gonna draft you up and just stand you there. And that way you should immediately fight the fires. Why is that caught fire there? That doesn't even make any sense. Get out of here. Oh, shit. This could be an issue. Uh, I'm just gonna stand these guys, or, or this person nearby, until the fire dies out naturally. <laughs> Oh, this is a bit shit. Okay, first things first, we're going to replace this entire wall with something a bit more durable than just crappy bamboo in hindsight. No. Where? Oh, that's quite close. Oh, no. Oh, God. I've made a horrible mistake, haven't I? Oh, fuck the base. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> help, 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 help. The fires. The fires, they're getting a little bit out of control here, team. We might have to expand the home area so it's one block. Oh, it already is around that. They just can't get out there, can they, you fool? I haven't built any doors. Oh, my God. This is getting really out of hand. Uh, right, we're done over there. Get, get over here and help us fight the fires closer to the, closer to the actual room. What's going on here? Okay, this is nuts. These wildfires are completely out of control. Okay. That should keep it at bay for a little while. Uh, I'm going to beat the fires out over there. It's going to take a long time to get over there, team. What does that count as home area? That, sh that sh should not be home area at all. That's just quite literally a corpse pond. Ah, oh, fuck. Come on. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's inside. How is it inside the wall? This is ups This is nuts. Okay, bamboo, horrible idea. Oh my god, it's, it's not stopping. Team, 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 team. They're already over there, luckily enough. Shit. <laughs> this is gone. This could not have gone worse. Brain. The snow. Oh, that'll do. Okay. That was a close one. Uh, that, was a cl that was a close one. We should probably get some people maybe dedicated to chiseling blocks then. Of course, we've got no plants to grow anymore. How are we doing for food? Uh, food, 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 food. There's no... Oh, I haven't got the food bar mod. <laughs> okay. Um, we've got 227 meat. Is that actually raw meat? Okay, good shit. We need to sustain this then for as long as possible. I'm tempted to make a small room with a vent on it while it's winter just to... I mean, it's spring for a start. Um, but just while we've got a cold snap to keep the meat cool. We could fill it with passive coolers or something like that afterwards. Maybe even just a small room for immediately freezing some food. We're not going to have that much food to fill up this whole room anyway, I don't think. Let's get horn on that immediately. Do we even have vents unlocked yet? We do, luckily enough. Okay, overwall vent. Let's get that down there. I get it down there. I meant get it down in the actual right place that makes some sense. He's sexy. He's having a cold bath. You know what, warming up? Uh, all those flash fires that were going on 20 minutes ago, you fool. You've had enough of uh, warmth to last your lifetime. Stick some of this stuff down. And then we should have a nice freezer room. The cold snaps over. You are I, this game. It's okay. <laughs> That's a funny joke. Oh, wait till he builds an outdoor freezer and then take the fucking cold snap away. That's all right. Okay, look, we've got electricity. All we've got to do is dedicate a little bit of time now to setting up an area where we can keep maybe a wind turbine running. Um, we could use some of the bamboo to maybe fuel a... What do you think about fueling, like, a, a, a log-powered generator instead or something like that? Let's go animal corpses. Uh, no insect corpses. Keep the anime princesses. They have the richest meat. It's still refrigerated, though, technically. Um, and then, well, that's on normal. That's on critical. So we should just be able to haul any food that's in there straight over to the next room. There's not a huge amount. Oh, hay counts. Oh, we could have some nice hay for dinner. Never mind. A solar fire has begun, so we can't even... That's fine. Hang on. Just give me a minute. Through the nose. Out through the mouth. Can't even build a freezer anymore. Good. <laughs> um, right, so what do, what do we need? How do we... Uh, air conditioning. Is that what we need for coolers? Yes, it is. Okay. Get our research next. Because it turns out food is, is becoming a, a pretty massive issue very, very quick. We can fish, right? Oh, the solar flies ending already. We can fish. We, we can fish. Can we fish? I don't think we can fish. Toto. Uh, we can fish. Okay. Put down a fishing zone. And then, oh wait, fishing zones, only one person can fish at a time though, can't they? Uh, s small fish. Let's make a few of these zones. Is that big enough? That is big enough. That is big enough as well. Um, let's see if we can shrink that one down anymore. Let's see if we can fit another one there. Uh, seems to be working. Yeah, it seems to be working, fine. And they'll put down another fish zone here. And then we'll say small fish again, and then expand that one out. And that should be big enough again. Yeah, there we go, cool. So we got three fishing zones down. 
Uh, if we put a door out of maybe here into the outside world. So I'll put fishing above quarry work. However, we'll remove... Who's the worst at mining? You and you. You two are on quarry work. You two are not on fishing work. They're also terrible at fishing. But, you know, that's a uh, price we have to pay. You know, we're not doing it to train skills or anything. Sure, it might take them slightly longer. But any food is good food when you've got no food. Battle animals. A group of rhinos wandering. And they've joined the colony. Well, looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. What the hell is a hurry? I'm going to tame it either way. What are you? Some spooky anime dragon. Uh... Hurry, that's created by evolution of genetic technology. Red gemstone has a rare feature that grows on his forehead even. Good. <laughs> um, nuzzles one day interval, that's not fantastic. 2.98 melee DPS. What, what's its hide? Sh what, what hide does it give me? Uh, race, hurry, wilderness, immunity gain, speed. I want to say what leather it would produce. Leather amount, 26. 26 of what? Does it not say? Am I losing my mind here? Kill this creature. Kill, kill it. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can get its, uh, its gemstone. Oh, hang on a minute. If the coal snap's gone, we can regrow all our farms now, can't we? Hey, nothing to worry about. Meat's back on the menu for, in this case, uh, corn, pumpkins, and lentils. Hmm, appetizing. Oh, shit. I'll be honest, I thought it'd be a lot easier to kill than it seems like it is. Um, let's get everybody drafted. I should have already checked it. His melee DPS was crap, though. I, I already checked it, though, didn't I? Well, we might survive the encounter with it, but... Oh, God, run horn. There we go. Kill it dead. Nice work, team. Um, I, I, generally, I just want to see what we get when we butcher it. That's all. That's the whole reason I did this. Um, can I get you to prioritize butchering creature, please? All right, here we go. Anything special from that? But bird skin. Oh, lizard skin, probably, because it's a dragon. That's a shame. Are there any other unique animals out there that I can kill? Uh, nothing at all. What a war crime. <laughs> Maybe the only one of its kind we're ever going to see. Oh, that's not good. Just gotta wait for brains now. What's he doing that isn't... Oh, I mean, summing crops. Yeah, there's an argument that that's more important, but... There's no point growing crops if they're immediately gonna rot away though, right? Go on. Go back to work. What, what's everyone else doing right now then? I wanna... So you're cooking. You are... Horn is sleeping. No, 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 no. I don't even understand. There's no sleep here. Uh, you need to grow crops, always. Uh, everybody besides brains, I think that's an appropriate thing to do. Uh, yeah, because strong arm will cook before then anyway. Oh, good trader. Oh, fantastic. Okay, that's kind of what we're after then. Get rid of some of these, uh, some of the things that are giving us ridiculous amounts of colony wealth, like the huge amount of drugs I decided to grow, rather than food, which is, again, very on brand. We'll hopefully liquidate that down into some silver and, and trade it for some food. I'll obviously, just do a straight up bar to that. Why are these animals dying? What's killing them off? Hurry. Oh, I'm glad we killed that then in hindsight. Although there is a giant fuck off cougar. It's not social character. It's brains again, right? Oh, it's strong arm? Okay, fair enough. Uh, strong arm. Trade with these strange people and their giant hamsters. Wait. The, the, the mice ride hamsters or the rats ride hamsters. That's a bit strange. It's like a human going into battle on the back of a gorilla. Although, I say that's strange. That's fucking cool. Joe Rogan would be a big fan of that. Okay. What have you got for me? Um, do we want to sell them? Akane and Aoi? We could buy some advanced components. Regular components would be actually pretty handy right now. Steel. Okay. Um, do you want to buy drugs? No? Rock nut oil. Thank you. We could buy a refrigerator. Oh, that would actually come in very handy. What have we got to barter with? Nothing. Cloth. They want to buy cloth. Oh, fantastic. Okay, minus 2,000. That's all yours, my friend. Give me that. Give me that bin as well, because we don't have anybody dedicated on, uh, on, on cleaning right now. Give me some steel. Let's buy as much as we can manage with this. Uh, fine, we'll take the lot then. Um, we'll buy a few more components, because that's the one thing we're really going to lack, at least for a little while. Uh, we can sell them a bit more. Sure, let's sell them like 3,000 cloth. Uh, the advanced components, two off. That way we can automatically build a fabrication bench when eventually we get up to that stage, if we ever do. Fine. What is, it? What is a rock nut oil? Oil made by pressing fat nut can be used in meals. <laughs> oh, I wish I hadn't said any of those other things I said now. This is great, though. This is great, because it means we could just set up a wind turbine. We can always have this available, and we can put it in the dining room. I don't know really where to set up the wind turbine. We could build it over... We, we do have a wind turbine, right? You don't have to research that after the fact. It's been so long. I don't think we've ever really done a proper tribal playthrough. Yeah, we don't have one. Bollocks. Uh, oh, we do. We do. Never mind. Ignore me. Um, we could put it there and capitalize on the farms that we've already got running. In fact, why don't we put it there? Yeah, let's put, let's put it right there. 
Uh, use up a little bit of our lentil stockpile. That's all right. We'll put down some power conduit straight into the base. Hope we've got enough resources for all of this. And then we'll put down some batteries in here somewhere. Uh, I guess we could put them in the storage room. It's the only downside, of course, to wind turbines like I talked about ad nauseum before is that they're a bit of a pain in the ass if you don't have batteries. So I'm glad we got that dealt with. There we go. And then if we take that over there, e that means even now without the uh, temperature research, we've got a way to maintain our meals. And a wanderer? Right on brand. Are you allowed to wear that hat? Kai Lam, Lam, Lama Aro. Welcome. Iron World, Masochist, Neurotic. Those are two of the best traits in the game, in my opinion. And to be honest, Neurotic is pretty good as well. Neurotic coupled with Iron World is fantastic. You get all the work speed, but with none of the negatives. So we still got the minus 10% mental break threshold. The 20% work speed with no downside. Masochist is good as well. Because it means if he gets hit, he's just going to, you know, oh, pappy more, please. We're fine. We're good. Oh, good. I have to go into the fucking bedroom. Bollocks. Um... Well, let's go and get a, go ahead and get a bedroom. Should we just get like a bedroom template, or should I give them a shitty little bedroom? No, they're gonna get a shitty bedroom because they're not they're not cool like everyone else here. They get to they get to live on the outer edges of our of our magical donut. Right, give me that, and then let's go ahead and start building some more bedrooms over in this direction. Uh, we can put it there, and it does match the corridor length as well. Put it there. Take away that door. No, take away that door. Drop that down, and then we'll expand the corridor kind of through here. So that needs to be... Oh, the corridor needs to be there. I need to move that block forward. Actually. You know what? We do need it that size. Uh, basically, the reason I'm doing a 2x2 two two corridor is the last series, we saw it where all the rooms were crammed together and I had no corridors between them. So that when we had a lot of things, animals especially, people were all queuing up to get out of doors up until we built auto doors. But even then, there was a slight amount of lag just to do with the pathfinding. So giving them all two blocks to maneuver along, it should relieve a little bit of that. Now, I know this is... We're going to leave in the two blocks there, but it's going to leave a lot of extra space. The dead space we can use to turn into a bathroom or something like that. There, I'm thinking something like that with a bathroom shared between multiple bedrooms. And it still fits the overall structure of the base. Oh, shit, he just built the battery. Okay, can we get the other one done? Nice, we got both batteries down. And they're all hooked up to the same grid, I assume. Uh, there we go. Stored 10 watts. Nice. And we've got the quad refrigerator on. Only requires 35 watts, to be fair. It's four squares of refrigeration, so you wouldn't expect any more than that, to be honest. We do need to... I, I put the bin there. The bins aren't too bad, but they take a very, very long time, especially the small ones, to clean anyway. So don't rely too much on that, unfortunately. Um, a couple more doormats wouldn't hurt. Turns out you can't build doormats out of cloth for reasons that are completely unknown to me. Um, what, what else have we got that we could potentially build out of here? We've got 331 plain leather. Okay, that'll do the trick. So let's go to Misk. Uh, plain leather doormat. Uh, so we've already got two actually in front of that one. Let's go use our little one then. Light leather doormat. No, no, plain leather. Uh, drop one there. Where, where else have I put the entrances to the base? I started planning another one there, but they didn't finish it. So we'll put one down preemptively. Um, no, outside, moron. That's, that's how doormats work. I also like to point out, in the actual doormats mod workshop, they've got the doormats on the inside of the house. I don't know if anybody actually does put doormats on the inside of the house, but that seems like it's complete madness. Um, and we'll also put one... I guess we'll put one there, seeing as that's where I think the, the uh, by the time we've built all this stuff, that's where it's going to naturally terminate again until we have to build more bedrooms. If the power turns out to be consistent with enough of it left over in the batteries after running the refrigerator, we'll start putting down some wall lights as well. Wall lights, as we found out using the colony manage mod last series, uh, kind of are one of the invisible costs of, of running a base. I didn't quite realize how much they added up to uh, until we'd actually manually check that, so... We'll see how that goes before I before I commit to putting a few down. Maybe just a couple in like the workrooms. Corridors don't really matter too much. They're only going to be in there for a few seconds a day. Right, I didn't even bother looking at this new character besides their traits. So let's give them a job. Uh, oh god, they're not looking too promising, are they? Hunting is okay. Right, you might be our new fisherman. Uh, fucking hell, they really can't do anything, huh? You've got art. Oh my god, is that genuinely their strongest skill? Bio? Artistic 8. Well, we don't really need an artist right now. What we need is a freaking gardener. Um, I guess we'll put them on two harvest, one grow. Oh, definitely no harvest in that case. Shit. Um, that sucks. We'll, we'll put them on maximum grow until they've uh, uh, until they've leveled up their plant skill a little bit. I mean, I'll put a point in art even though it's pointless. Congratulations, you're now the cleaner. I'm actually going to get the horn to wake up and finish building this damn room because he's... I don't know what the hell he's been doing all day, but it's not building a bedroom for this guy who's just sleeping in the rain otherwise. Where's the... Where's the bed? Oh, the teddy bear copy, but not the bed. Well, that's, uh, that's really helpful. Thank you for that. There we go. That wasn't too difficult. Okay, good shit. Um, need a couple more floors down there. I'm pretty happy with the base expansion today. I was, again, I would love to get the 
defense is dealt with pretty soon. And by defense, I mean getting the, the big stone wall around the edge. That's looking pretty decent already. I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. And again, as we build around the center circle, I think it's going to look quite cool. We'll leave it there for today, though. I think I've probably slightly overran at this point after everything's all edited nicely down. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to how the aesthetics of this will look towards the end. Because it's rare that we go for... Normally, I go for just pure efficiency. Like, rooms crammed together as close as possible. Smallest workrooms, which has pathfinding issues, sure. But you save on so many resources doing that that it's normally worth doing. But we're a bit more about aesthetics this time. I say with the hardest storyteller possible. Thank you to James Shea, Atmosis, Chris, Tyler Kendall, Skaz, Justin Wallace, Cyric313, Chickenman HD, Peyton Denisar, Dancy Mordekane, Gogolus, Goatfather, Anthony Gawley, Asana Kirito, my name is Indio, and all the other insane top tier level patrons for supporting the channel at the highest Patreon tier. Thank you all for making the channel possible in the first place. And a thank you as well to Astro. Hey, I'm Alex, Fat Joe is a toe, Asaro, Magister Militum, Panther Pearl, Erotha, Organized Confusion, Cogzel, Bokvin, Cam, Jackson P, and the other patrons as well. Thank you guys all for making the channel possible.